Hey, what's up guys? My name is Keenan Grams. Well, it's not my name, like, not my birth certificate, but I call myself Keenan Grams on social media. Today, I'm going to be doing my first, first official vlog. And, yeah, what we're going to get with this vlog today, we're going to be editing this photo to look like this. But the interesting thing about that is we're going to be using an application called Adobe After Effects. Is it an application or a program? I feel like an app is on your phone, a program is on your computer. So it's a program called Adobe After Effects, and if you aren't familiar with After Effects, it is the cousin of Photoshop. And the reason I'm doing it in After Effects is I'm a video editor, so I'm very familiar with the interface of After Effects, what it can do. So I've recently been trying to learn Photoshop, and it's getting there, but I'm losing patience a little bit. So the one day I was editing this photo, and I just couldn't figure out how to do it in After Effects, I mean in Photoshop. So I decided, you know what, I'm familiar with After Effects and you can export a single frame from After Effects. So essentially you can do exactly what you can do in Photoshop in Adobe After Effects. It probably just takes you longer. Like if you're familiar with both of them, Photoshop will be the, probably the better option. But for me, who knows very little about Photoshop and very much about, very much, is that English? Whatever, I'm from Brackman. Very much of After Effects, very much. Shut up. Um, yeah, I find it easier to do it after effects, so I'm going to take you through the steps, which I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering. What's up with this vitamin mask? The real question is, why aren't other YouTubers doing things with vitamin masks? Because I feel like this is the future, and I'm really shy, so if I wear a mask, it masks a little bit. But yes, back to the tutorial. When I was, re when I was editing this, I didn't have... Phew, my English is fading today, guys. When I was recording this, I didn't think I was going to be doing a vlog about it, like a tutorial, but then I got so many comments asking like how I did it, so I decided, okay, let me go through it, but I was pretty much just really winging it, editing this, so we'll try and get as close to this as possible, but yeah, let's dive in. So initially I started off in Lightroom, just to get some color grading going, um, I could probably have done some of that in After Effects. But I'm pretty familiar with Lightroom, so I wasn't too fussed about like doing that in Lightroom. So that is done now. Let's open up my After Effects. You guys who are watching this now, my first audience, the first few are probably going to suck a while. But you know what, just push through. Just keep watching my tutorials, just keep supporting me. And then one day if I blow up and I get really big, you can be like, ah, oh, I was there when you had 30 subscribers. The first thing I'm going to start, as you can see, I'm bring the reference photo in here. So as you can see over here, there's a lot more of this blue tiley background. We just see it kind of ends over there and over there. So what we're going to do first, I mean this is probably super easy to do in Photoshop. I know there's a clone tool, but I don't know how to use Photoshop, so shut up. I'm doing this. So I'm just going to kind of mask that. So then I've essentially... Uh, cut that section out so it's by itself now let's take that and move it across over here I'm going to increase the scale if you hit S on After Effects you bring up the scale options over here and you can kind of just scale it up a little bit as you can see there's a bit of hair over here you won't really see it I mean if you guys are looking for it you'll see it now you can you guys are all going to go back to this photo on Instagram now and just like check it out and be like oh Keenan you actually suck now that I've zoomed in I can see that it sucks whatever trying. Okay, bring up the mask options. I'm going to bring up the mask feather. Basically what that does is it softens the, the edges a bit, so it blends in easier. So if you see over there, I mean if you're looking for it, you'll see it, but other than that you won't really notice it. So I've done, I've duplicated this layer, Command D on a Mac, uh, something else if you're on a PC, probably Control D, I don't know, why do you have a PC? I did what's called an adjustment layer. You can find that over here, layer new, adjustment layer. And what an adjustment layer does, it's like a, it's a blank image. So if I solo the layer over here, there's nothing there, completely transparent. But any effects I apply to this adjustment layer will affect anything that's below the adjustment layer. So let's say if I put a curve adjustment on it, let's drop a curve adjustment on there and do a little bit of curves like that. So now it's affecting everything below it, but if I move it down to here, 
it'll only affect this as you can see these layers are still unaffected by the adjustment layer might actually just leave that curved layer there because it looks nice okay so now what i'm going to do is that part is done now over here if we look at the reference image again you'll see there's some nice bokeh bokeh-ish there so what you can do is you can just go online and search for bokeh and you'll you'll find that but what i did was recently i went to melrose arch which is here in johannesburg and they've got like a christmas thing up now with like christmas lights and a whole bunch of things so i just shot i turned my camera to manual focus and i just shot some stuff out of focus and so yeah i always want like bokeh to overlay into my images but i like you know using my own bokeh instead of like just some stuff on google so yeah any dslr if you have a dslr you can just go out find some nice lights switch to manual focus and just shoot some stuff that you can use to comp over your own work okay i'm gonna bring this in rotate so already i can see this is a different color to the one i can't remember which one i actually used originally but I'm happy with this comp. Uh, the blending mode, I'll probably go to add. Probably add, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna drop a curve adjustment in there because I want it to look more blue. Cool thing that After Effects can do actually. So if you go over here, there's a feature called change to color. Super handy, drop that on there. And you select the color you want to change and then you select what you want to change it to. And just take this add blending mode off. That's how I want this orange, but I'm to make it blue. And you can just play with the settings to kind of get it a nice blue color. Once you've got the basics done of any program, like the interface and all that, from there it's just a matter of playing around and experimenting, trying different things. Um, sometimes it'll look really, really sick. Sometimes it's going to suck. You just keep playing around, keep messing around. Uh, yeah, so I didn't study anything. I came out of matric and I started work doing the internship at my church, doing video with no background in video whatsoever, or photography for that matter. And I learned the basics from the guys at church and from Andrew Kramer, and yeah, I just wing it now. And you can learn so much from the internet. But as you can see, it still looks very different to here, like besides the color. So what I'm gonna do now, I wanna add a directional blur. <coughs> And that'll basically drop it on there and bump that up quite high. And you can see what kind of effect it's, it's giving it. So you can do any kind of blur, Gaussian blur, whatever you think will add more to the photo. And try a couple of different things. And just FYI, like, I understand not everyone's going to want to edit in After Effects because it's probably the longest way around editing a photo. But a lot of these features are in Photoshop. So what I really want to teach today is not how to use After Effects. I want to just get you thinking like when you're editing a photo, what you can do differently. So I'm going to duplicate this layer, Command D again. I'm going to make one of the layers a bit smaller. And I might want to just keep the original color. Okay, so I'm happy with how that's looking. So yeah, I just saved some images I used. So here's the original one. Okay, so what I'm doing now, there's a dove by my window. So it's just over there. They hang out. It's cool. Um, here's a photo I took in... Joburg in Bromfontein. So I'm going to bring that photo in over here and just kind of drop it over Philippa. Bring it up a bit, probably. Maybe a little bit more. And what I want to do, I want to have a blend mode, probably soft light, I'd imagine. Yeah, so now it kind of looks like I shut this through a window. If you've been following my account for a while on Instagram, you know I'm a really big fan of shooting through windows. I just love the textures and the kind of look you get so i want to drop the opacity of that a little bit looking good if i do so, so myself humble brag okay now i'm going to add a gaussian blur i don't know what a gaussian blur actually is i don't know what gaussian means but it gives a nice effect just to kind of soften it because when you're shooting through glass like you don't be completely crisp that is looking maybe a bit more gaussian blur I, I take that actually. Uh, now I'm going to do another adjustment layer. And I'm just going to do some curved adjustments. And then I think I'm good to go. So if you want to use After Effects, composition, save frame as, file. You just want to save the frame. You don't export the whole thing as a video. And you can choose what you want to export it as Photoshop, JPEG. I know choose JPEG because just for, for the gram. And you choose where you want to save it to. 
and I'm not going to change the name because I'm too lazy, and you hit render. Okay, so I hope you guys learned a thing or two from that. Uh, I want to be doing more vlogs, probably not all tutorial based, it might be some tutorial stuff. I want to do a tutorial on editing and shooting straight from your phone, so using nothing but this bad boy over here. So I'm probably going to do that soon, uh, but yeah, I want to do some other stuff as well. I'm not sure. So if you guys have suggestions on what kind of videos you'd like to see Spidey over here covering, uh, let me know in the comments below.